It is January the 7th, 2022. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Port of Brunswick today. And I know a lot of you guys have been seeing this internet story about the VB10,000 down in Mexico and the problems that it has encountered. Hey, Menorcan Navy, Captain Mandy coming to you. And we've gotten a few comments about the VB10,000 that was involved with the project here and then moved down to the Gulf of Mexico uh, in the Mexican waters uh, to do some work in the oil industry or setting the oil platforms. And uh, there's been, it's been in the news lately as it, it was a drift. And from what we understand, we have kind of putting our feelers out and, and trying to understand what's going on out there. Yes, um, it, it was a drift, and from what we understand, it was being, it had completed one job where it was moving, uh, or setting an oil platform, they completed that and they were moving and repositioning it uh, for the next uh, next job, another, another uh, setting of an oil platform uh, with a couple of uh, Mexican flag tugboats. They encountered some rough conditions and the tow lines parted as a result of those heavy uh, sea conditions brought on by the weather, they weren't able uh, to get a tow line back on to the VB-10,000. The VB-10,000 has grounded and it is currently in, in very shallow water and is awaiting rescue. And from what we understand, uh, the Crosby Tug Groups is uh, currently putting together a, uh, an operation to go down and uh, help Get the get the VB10,000 dislodged from where it is. Uh, there is some good news. From what we understand is the propulsion pods, those uh, pods that help it to position itself when it's working, were in their retracted position. They weren't down, so that's good news that they weren't uh, damaged as a result of the grounding. Now we can just under just imagine that uh, that the uh, the amount of energy being exerted on the structure uh, between those two catamarans as those catamarans are taking those forces not equally uh, being on uh, being grounded as it as it's kind of encountering the waves that it is now that uh, that that structure could possibly take some pretty significant torquing and, and twisting and uh, we certainly wish them the best to get in that piece of equipment back off the bar and uh, have it free from, from any further damage, but we can just imagine that before it gets back into its heavy lifting jobs down in the Gulf of Mexico, there's going to have to be a pretty significant inspection uh, of, of that superstructure in those catamarans. So that's the news we've got um, from the VB-10,000. So now over in the Port of Brunswick, we are back up in the drone and taking a look at Thor and its job now has kind of changed as we can see that the dry dock is now clear of pieces of section number four. The golden ray has been cut up. Now the barge that's laying alongside Thor has a, the last couple of pieces that they had on the dry dock of that section on it. It's kind of being packed, if you will, for its trip back over to Gibson, Louisiana, where they'll undergo further processing. And now Thor is being used to kind of separate this debris that was piled up. And this is all debris from the site after they got the sections up, stuff that was kind of pulled up. And you see right now, they're in the process of kind of separating these um, container boxes and keep in mind that these container boxes were originally filled with stones and then kind of placed around the wreck in an attempt to, to kind of divert some of the currents uh, they weren't that successful but I guess they were put down there in an attempt to try to try to arrest it but they have to be separated from this barge to get down to the other automotive type debris that's underneath it, which goes to a different processor. So um, they're in the process of, of picking up these containers. 
They're kind of separating them onto the dry dock, and then they're going to be moved over into the lot area well, where they'll be cut up and then eventually uh, carted away to, to uh, one of the uh, uh, scrap vendors. But this process is going on now, and uh, they're moving along. Uh, from what we can see, that the, they're still now moving some of that material that's on the original barge that's down the waterfront towards the uh, the rest of the 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 shipping frontage that's down that way where they've been working we, we had some footage of that earlier in the week that process is still ongoing of getting those those cars out of that barge that hopper barge and placed into the trucks it's kind of slowed down a little bit now because it's a different vendor that is taking those cars away they have a, a much farther uh, trip for transport so all that's kind of working kind of against the unloading they're getting it done it's just kind of slowed down a little bit they don't have as many trucks as they did before when they were loading and hauling them locally Now the process of removing the pylons going on out at the actual site with the Pacific is still continuing. They seem to be making pretty good headway and getting some of those up. We're gonna to try to get you guys some more video of that operation. Hopefully we'll have some better weather with uh, without as much uh, wave action so that we can get some smoother video and maybe you guys will be able to enjoy that. But hey, that's about all the time we've got for today. We we'll hope you enjoyed today's report. We're gonna ask if you haven't done it, Click on that subscribe link. Uh, send us some comments. Hey, if you, also, uh, the Menorca Mullet store is up. For, the, for those of you who are looking for a couple of different maybe items or something, want something with the, with the logo on it, it's now available. Check it out there on the main page. Hey, most of all, hey, we want you guys to stay safe out there.